hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant title animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration I'm going to choose let's say 10 second long. And background color is black color, and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Save Action. Then I'm going to select my text tool over here. Font I'm going to choose Oswald, and I'm going to choose a regular version of it. And let's decrease the distance between these alphabets up to zero and uh, let's type our text let's increase the font size like this and I'm going to type my first text which is going to be motion like this then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it like this now select this text and go to the character menu and let's try to decrease the distance between this up to this now select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it simply bring this downwards and for the version i'm going to choose extra light and over here i'm going to type graphics then select this text press s for scaling option and let's make this scale up to let's say 40 like this and distance between alphabets let's make it 1000 not 100 but 1000 like this and let's make the scale 35 we need to adjust it according to this so try to adjust like this okay this looks good so by holding shift i'm going to move this up to here okay so this is going to be my text and now we are going to create some borders for it so let's select this uh, rectangle and I'm going to choose rounded rectangle or uh, let's delete this fill we don't want it. and we are going to choose stroke and choose white color for the stroke and let's create one rectangle like this okay it should cover this entire text select this text press ctrl alt home to align the anchor point to the center and let's try to adjust it with the text now the, or select all of these layers and let's uh, lock this now press g to select your pen tool and for the stroke color choose red color like this and now we are going to create some stroke uh, for this one so press ctrl r for uh, ruler and bring one ruler over here and let's try to move this over here again one ruler up to here one ruler up to here and one ruler up to here okay like this so this is going to be my guidelines so now we will uh, create strokes so uh, let's do that from here to here by holding shift i'm going to create stroke and it should end over here like this okay you can adjust this also then this is for this now create another one so from here to here then to here we will create another stroke then again sorry here to here don't forget to hold shift to create this kind of strokes like this okay so our strokes are also ready so let's make this fit let's unlock all of this layers and we will delete this rectangle we don't want that also i'm going to remove those stuff let's move them now select all of these strokes and let's uh, increase the stroke width to 10 pixels like this and now select uh, i don't need to select that but our basic structure of this one is ready so now let's try to animate we will start with this motion text first so let's select this go to the animate menu and choose position 
and bring this position downwards like this then go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start then go to around 1.15 and let's make this 100 now let's minimize this we'll focus on this graphics so let's hide this one go to the graphics go to the animate and choose position and initial position let's bring this upwards somewhere around like this go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start go to 1.15 frames and let's make this 100 so we will get this kind of animation like this okay then after that uh, i'm going to select this one go to the add menu and choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this value zero initially create one keyframe go to 1.15 and let's make this 100 now select this trim path hit ctrl c to copy sorry first of all deselect everyone now select this trim path hit ctrl c select all of them and then hit ctrl v okay hit u so now if you see we have this kind of animations but uh, now we will press u then select all of those keyframes and let's hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move one handle over here and one handle over here and now if you see this animation you will get something like this now we need to create masking for our text so i'm going to select this text i'm going to select my rectangle and then uh, i'm going to create one mask on it like this okay then i'm going to select this graphics and i'm going to create one mask on this one also okay so hit the u so now if you see this animation you will get something like this but uh, as you guys can see we can still see this graphics text over here so what we will do we'll go to the graphics we'll go to the text we'll go to the animator one and we will move this position upwards so now we are not going to get that and if you want then you can select this graphics and you can move it to 15 frames so first this and then we will get this so let's see this animation we will get something like this now after that uh, we need to create some extra elements for it so let's do that uh, i'm going to select red color only so select this let's hide all of them we don't need to focus on them right now and we are going to create one rectangle like this and press ctrl alt home to align the tanker point of the center go to the align tab and align it like this and let's make this stroke width Fine. now select this go to the rectangle go to the rectangle path one uh, let's you know, unlink this and create one keyframe over here go to 1.15 frames create another keyframe and go to the start and let's make this value zero so we will get something like this and now we'll go to the stroke we'll create one keyframe at stroke width go over here and let's make this stroke width zero so if I see, I'll get this kind of animation. Now select those keyframes and hit F9. Go to the graph editor, select this graph. Uh, let's unlink this again chain. Then we will select this. We'll go to the graph editor, select this graph. By holding shift, I'll move this handle over here. So I'll get something like this. So then select this handle and move this over here. So I'll get this kind of animation. Now uh, select this go somewhere around over here and hit ctrl d press p and we will bring this downwards okay and now we will enable all of these layers because we need to cover them so select them change the color of this one to red one so it would be easy for us to understand let's lock these layers and press p for position and let's bring them somewhere around over here select this hit ctrl d press p let's bring this downwards again select all of them hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top press p and let's bring them downward so we will get this kind of order again select all of the six layer hit ctrl d bring them topwards press p and move them over here again hit ctrl d bring them at the top press p and let's bring them downwards like this okay and now select all of these layers and let's with the help of arrow keys i'm going to move them over here now enable this icon for all of them so if i play now 
i'll get this kind of animation and now i want them to be animated one by one so i'll hit page down button one time i'll select this and i'll move this over here and i'll follow this procedure for all of them so what will happen that uh, they will try to animate one by one like this So if I see this animation, I'll get something like this. And after all of this stuff, I want this text animation should start to animate. So let's disable this icon. And now I'm going to select all of this text animation layers. And after this point, somewhere around over here, I want this stuff should start to animate. So I'll move them over here. So let's select all of this red layers and press Ctrl Shift C and I'm going to call it as part one and hit OK let's see like this then select this hit ctrl d let's bring them downwards and i'm going to move this over here so what will happen that it will animate again like this and hit ctrl d again select this and let's move this over here press t for opacity and this time i'm going to make this opacity 50 so we'll get a little bit of the animation now first this animation and then this and then this okay then right click new and create one null object simply select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null one go to the start at this point where after all the text animation i'll press s create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's make this 70 or let's say 80 oops yeah then select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this let's move this totally up to here like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's make this pre-com and move this over here hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards like this and again hit ctrl d press s let's make this 100 and let's move this upwards like this uh, let's i think we need to make this minus 100 let's see yeah and let's move this over here and now select all of them and let's try to adjust them properly at the center like this okay and now uh, this as you guys know that this is my main one so let's select this both layers press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 50 i'm going to select this layer first let's select our rectangle selection tool and we will create some mask on it go to the mask property and increase the feathers like this then select this one select your mask and let's create one mask like this and go to the mask properties and increase the feathers like this okay and hit you so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this okay let's go inside this and we will delete this part which looks quite weird so text animation will look like this now right click new and create one null object simply bring this upward select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null too select this null press p uh, hold alt click on the stopwatch type wiggle inside this the type 3 comma 3 so along with that we will get wiggle animation also and if you want you can select this so uh, let's bring this a little bit upward like this okay then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect sorry and double click to apply and increase the glow radius increase the glow threshold and decrease the intensity to 
so now we will get this kind of animation Yo.